Juliet. We're with the Winkle, and today we're making blood and the human heart. Can you feel your heart? Yeah. Do you feel it pumping? Yeah. We call it a heartbeat, but that's really that there's blood pumping through your heart into the rest of your body. Yeah. So, should we see what's in our kit today? Sure. Okay. A diagram of a human heart, a gallon baggie, some blue buttons, red oranges, white stars above. Very good. On top of everything in your kit, you'll just need a pencil and some water, and then we're ready to get started. Yahoo! This is going to be so exciting. I know. So when we talk about the heart, are we talking about like the shape of a heart? No. No. What are we talking about? A different heart. Yeah. Our heart is an organ in our body. Juliet, do we see blood at our house sometimes? Yeah. When? When they get an alley or something. Yeah. And what color is the blood? Red. Yeah. And today we're going to be studying all about what's in our blood. Do you know there's more than just red blood cells in our yeah, blood? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Oh, wow. You Maybe you should teach the lesson today. Yeah. <laughs> At any time in our Winkle videos, if we get going too fast, you can always pause the video and press play when you're all caught up. Also, if you ever have a question or you forgot what you were supposed to do, you can always rewind the video and then press play. Juliet, first we're going to start with the vena cava. Vena is V-E-N-A. Cava, C A V A. So put an arrow right here. The vein of cava is a blood vessel and it's a vein. Do you see all these things poking out of the heart? <laughs> these are all blood vessels, okay? So the vein of cava is a vein which means the blood is flowing to the heart. And then we're gonna be studying arteries later, which blood is flowing out of the heart. So we're gonna show the direction of blood flowing into the heart. So the vena cava, it flows into this area right here. This is called your right atrium. Right here. So it's, so it's R-I-G-H-T. That spells right. Good, and atrium is A, A, T, T, R, R, I, I, U, M. Good job, so the this vein right here is leading into the right atrium. Now this is also our inferior vena cava, okay? So this is the vena cava. Inferior just meaning it's below the heart. These are yeah. both flowing into the right atrium. So can you draw the arrow going up that way? Yeah. It's kind of hard drawing arrows, right? Arrows are hard for you? Yeah. Well, this might be a hard project for you yeah. then, because we're gonna draw a lot of arrows. Yeah. <laughs> okay, after the right atrium, our blood flows through a valve right here. So with the valves, Juliet, when you hear your heart going boom, 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 that's your valves closing and opening. And so that's a really good sound to have that boom, boom sound because that means your valves are opening and closing and letting blood through your body. Okay, after the right atrium, the blood goes to our right. So we spell that word again. R-I-G-H-T. R-I. Ventricle. E. V-E-N. V-E-N. T-R-I. T R I C L E. All this blood that's coming into our heart needs oxygen. How do you get oxygen? By breathing. By breathing. And what organ in our body is for breathing? Our lungs. That's right. Oxygen goes into our lungs and lets us breathe. So this blood that's flowing through our heart, the right atrium and right ventricle, it needs to go out of our heart to go get some oxygen. So where do you think it's gonna go to get the oxygen? It's gonna go out to get oxygen from our lungs. This is called the pulmonary artery. Artery. Remember, veins have blood going into the heart 
arteries have blood flowing out of the heart. So this pulmonary artery, blood is flowing out of the heart and it's gonna go get some oxygen at the oxygen store, <laughs> which is our lungs, okay? Once our lungs give our blood oxygen, then it needs to go back into our heart. Mm -hmm. Does it go back into our heart through a vein or an artery? Were you paying attention? Yeah. You were? Mm -hmm. So does it go in back into our heart through a vein or an artery? Um, artery? No. Vein. Yes. Good job. <laughs> because veins send blood into our heart and arteries take blood out of our heart. Yeah. Okay. By the end of this video, I want you to remember that. Okay. So we get blood back from our lungs through the pulmonary vein right here. Right here? Uh-huh. Okay. At least get the arrows in so you know the flow of blood through the heart. If you don't want to spell out the entire pulmonary word, you could write just artery and write vein right here. Good, it's coming from our lungs. It's all oxygenated, oxygenated now. It's coming into our heart, from our lungs, into the left. Right here? Uh-huh, the left atrium. So it's L. L E F T. That's left. L E. Atrium. A T R I U M. Nice. And from our left atrium, it's going to go through this valve right here. Remember, the valve is the boom, 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 boom. It goes through this valve into the left ventricle. Okay. Can you draw the arrow? Are you getting better at arrows now? Yeah. Ventricle. So from the left ventricle, our blood is now oxygenated and it's gonna go be pumped back through the rest of the body and give the rest of the body blood. Okay, so it's gotta go through here. And is this a vein or an artery? Because it's going out of the heart into the body. So this, it's a shape like this. It's going underneath the pulmonary I artery. I one. It's going this way. From, oh. See this snake-like thing right here? This shape, pretend like, I mean, it's underneath, see? It's like underneath the pulmonary artery. So it's this right here. This is a vein or an artery, Juliet? Artery? So, that's right, so this is an artery. So this is called, this is a very special artery called the aorta. A-O-R-T-A. -A. Great, so this aorta is going to send blood through here, through here, through here. Whoa, that's a lot. I know, it's gonna pump all this blood through the top part of our body, our head, through our here. arms, uh-huh, right there. Through here, through here. Good job, now do you see that it's circling around and it's circling around, and if you could see through your heart, which you can't, it's gonna connect all right the way. Here. You guys don't have to draw this line. I'm just showing you behind the heart. The aorta comes all the way and pops out here to go to the lower part of our body. So this is part, okay. if you want to, part of your lower aorta right there. Wow, this is an amazing diagram of how the blood flows through the human heart. Okay, let's review. The vena cava sends blood into the right atrium because there's no oxygen in this blood. There's no oxygen. It goes into the right atrium, through the valve to the right ventricle, back up through the pulmonary artery, artery because the blood's flowing out of the heart. Yep. Oh, we didn't label this one. This is part of the pulmonary. <laughs> That's part of the pulmonary artery. That's what right I was there. thinking about. Yeah. Like, what is I'm that thing right there? This one. So the pulmonary artery sends blood out of the heart into the lungs yes. to get oxygen. That's right. And then the oxygenated blood comes back through the pulmonary vein into the left atrium through this valve right here into the left ventricle then out of the left ventricle into the aorta, which pumps blood, boom, 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 all in the upper part of our body, boom, then boom, sends boom, it down here to all the lower part of our body. Wow, that was a lot of learning about our human heart. 
Mm -hmm. Should we make our activity now? Mm -hmm. Okay. This activity is going to take some time. So you're going to okay. be starting it right now, but we're not going to be able to finish it for 10 more hours. So maybe it would be later today if you're starting this in the morning or it would have to be tomorrow. So put your diagram of the human heart aside, put it somewhere special where you're not gonna lose it and we can use it tomorrow when our activity's ready. Okay, Julia, everybody has a gallon baggie at home and these are called Orbeez. I love Orbeez. Be careful, nothing from the Winkle should ever go in your mouth. That would be very dangerous and hazardous. So make sure that this is out of reach of a little brother or sister or anybody that might try and put it in their mouth. Julia, okay. go ahead and open up the Orbeez and put them in your gallon bag. What will it make? These are gonna represent Ooh. I know, so fun, right? These are going to represent our red blood cells. So you said before our blood is mostly red, right? Yeah. Yeah, and this is going to represent our red blood cells. Okay, so we're going to add a cup of water to our bag. Okay. Go ahead, Juliet. Ooh, nice. Now, this you want to make sure to do this part, is we're going to seal the bag up. Do you hear that yeah. snapping? Yeah. That means the bag is being sealed. You want to make sure it's sealed nice and tight so no water leaks out. Okay, you're going to let your bag sit here, like I said, for 10 hours or maybe even overnight, and we'll come back to it when all your Orbeez are nice and plump. Juliet, our Orbeez are all ready. Whee. Doesn't that look so good? Isn't this so much fun when the Orbeez are like this? Okay, so our Orbeez soaked up all of our water, didn't they? So our red blood cells are all ready to go. We're going to add a little bit more water to our bag. Yay! So the water represents plasma, and plasma is what carries your blood through your body. So we definitely need plasma, right? You don't want your blood to get caught in one of your veins or arteries because then the whole process wouldn't happen for our blood to be oxygenated and then come back to our heart, okay? Every time you put something in your bag, like we just added water, make sure your bag seals back up because- You don't want the water to fall out. Right, we definitely don't want our plasma and our red blood cells to get yeah. out of our bag. Yeah. Ooh, now we get to put in the styrofoam balls. Now these styrofoam balls represent our white blood cells. Can I try? Yep. Here, I'll help you. So our white blood cells- Can I pour them all in? Yeah, you can pour them all in. Our white blood cells fight germs and bacteria so that we don't get sick. And it's kind of like snow when you pour them in. Yeah, make sure you zip it back up. And you can kind of mix those around, Juliet. Okay, so our red blood cells carry oxygen. Our white blood cells help fight off germs and bacteria. Our plasma helps carry our blood through our body. What do we have left in our kit? Um, buttons. Buttons. Do we have buttons in our blood? No. no. The buttons are going to represent platelets, and platelets are very important to help heal your body. If you ever have a cut, does your cut just stay cut forever? Or no! Does it get yeah, it gets better because of your platelets. Isn't that so great? So because of our platelets, your scrape won't always hurt. It'll help. Yeah. So platelets help your scrape feel better. And we're gonna seal it up. Nice, that looks good. Now do you wanna mix it all up? I'll let you mix it up. Oh, that's so nice of you. Now you do have to be a little bit careful with these Orbeez because if you're really hard on them, they can like break open and then your blood won't be as nice anymore. And eventually these yeah. Orbeez will deteriorate, so you can't save this project forever. It'll, it'll be fun for the meantime. <laughs> do you guys remember your heart diagram that you did earlier? Yep. Okay, grab that and put it under your bag. <laughs> and now we're going to pretend like we're flowing blood through the heart. Good, so how does blood come in? It comes in through our vein into the right atrium, right? And that vein through the right atrium. Now it's gonna be pumped into the right ventricle, mm -hmm. right? Through the pulmonary artery, remember that? Yep. Okay, it just went to our lungs to go get some oxygen and now it's coming in 
through the pulmonary vein, into the left atrium, and down into the left ventricle. And then what's this big one called? The aorta. Uh, aorta. <laughs> I know these words are so hard. Yeah. So it's going through the aorta. And remember the aorta has all those parts that can go up, up through the body that way. And the aorta also comes down here and blood can be pumped down that way. Did you have so much fun making this video with us today, Juliet? Mm -hmm. We would love to see how your heart and your blood turned out. If you have a grown up take a picture or video, have them post it on social media and tag us at the Winkle Crate. Okay. That way we can see what you made and how it turned out. If you like this video, please press like and click subscribe so every time the Winkle comes out with more videos, you'll be the first to know. Also, check out our links below for freebies and thewinkle.com. Thanks for joining us today, everybody. Bye. Bye.